Hi there, welcome to the short and to the point video on prednisone. In this video we cover all the essentials. What is prednisone, how do you use it, what are possible side effects or other dangers when using prednisone and what is the correct dose. We cover that and many more in this video. I also made a more in-depth video. If this might be more suitable for you, you can find the link to that video in the description. Furthermore, if we're meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul. I'm making medical videos every week, so feel free to subscribe for more upcoming content. All right, I always start with a little disclaimer. This video is meant purely informational. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. So the generic name of this medication is prednisone. What's known under several brand names like Deltazin, Liquid Pret, Orazin or Adazin, and is available in two forms, tablets or capsules. Prednisone has many, many use cases and it can be used in almost any disease where your body has a strong reaction against the disease, a strong inflammation. And then prednisone can be used to lower the reaction of your body so you will have less symptoms. I listed here the most common groups and I will just name some diseases which belong in the group. So for rheumatic diseases, it can be used for example to treat rheumatic arthritis. For lung diseases, it can be used for COPD, for asthma, in stomach or intestinal diseases, it can be used to treat morbus Crohn or ulcerative colitis, and there are many more use cases. Prednisone can also be used in blood diseases, immune diseases, diseases of your hormone system, and cancer. It can be used in neurological diseases, eye diseases, skin problems, and even kidney problems. So there's a wide range of diseases where prednisone can be used. Then you might wonder, how do you take prednisone? You always take it with half a glass of water, this way it's easier to swallow and it also dissolves a little bit in the water. If you get stomach complaints after taking prednisone, you can also first eat something and then take the prednisone. This will lower your stomach complaints. And always take it at fixed times. So preferably early in the morning, before you have breakfast or after you have breakfast. Always take it at the same time so you maintain a certain level of prednisone in your blood so it stays active. Furthermore, how long can you use it? This depends a bit on the indication, but usually days to weeks, but it can be longer if it's necessary. Always discuss this with your doctor. Regarding safety, there are no restrictions for the use of prednisone. It can be used safely while driving, it can be combined with alcohol, but in little amounts, and it can be combined with any type of food. Then what dose of prednisone would be the correct one? This depends on your treatment type. You have three kinds of treatments. Substitution therapy, this is suitable for people who do not make their body's own prednisone. Shock or acute treatment, this is mostly useful for people who have a strong inflammation reaction of their body, so in an asthma or COPD attack for example. And the last kind of treatment is a maintenance treatment. Those you usually take a longer time and this is suitable for the treatment of rheumatic arthritis for example. So in the substitution therapy, you take low doses, two and a half to five milligrams or maybe a little bit more, once or twice a day, and you use it for long term because you're replacing your body's own prednisone. Then in shock or acute treatment, you take higher doses, 30 to 80 or maybe a little bit more milligrams per day, divided over one to four doses, and you do this a few days to a few weeks. And then lastly, a maintenance treatment, the dose can vary from low to high, and you take it for several weeks to even months or in some cases years. Prednisone is an incredible medicine and it can help you a lot, but it also can have severe side effects. Immediately after you start using it, you have a rare chance on any of those side effects. So stomach or intestinal complaints, a higher chance on an infection, headache or dizziness, muscle complaints, a change of your feelings or your mood, symptoms of diabetes, so a lot of drinking, a lot of peeing. You can have fluid retention, where you will have more fluids in your ankle, for example. This is called oedema. And you can get heart rhythm problems. And if you use prednisone for more than three weeks in a dose higher than 7.5 milligrams per day, you sometimes can get an increase in weight and a fat face, chubby cheeks. And this is because of fluids, oedema, getting into your cheeks. Rarely we see the side effects of a thicker red skin. In children, they might grow a little bit slower, and maybe brittle bones or osteoporosis, as it's called. You may have too little potassium in your blood or too much cholesterol. You may get cataract, which is a permanent cloudiness of your eye lens. And you may get glaucoma, which is an increased eye pressure. 
so you get pain in your eye. Looking at fertility, it's known that male patients who take prednisone for a long term, so more than a few weeks, in high dosage, may have reduced fertility. And even after stopping, it will take up to several months before it restores. And pregnancy, the use of prednisone might be harmful for you and your baby and might lead to a growth slowdown in the baby. According to the prescriptions, you can use prednisone while being pregnant, but we advise to do so only for the shortest possible amount in the lowest dose. And if you can, please avoid using prednisone. Regarding lactation or breastfeeding, you need to know that prednisone is safe to use, but after taking the tablet, wait three to four hours before you start breastfeeding. This way the highest dose of prednisone already be out of your body and will not get into your breast milk. Also it is advice to monitor your child closely in growth and development just to make sure. This was my short overview on prednisone. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comment section or check out my in-depth video. You find the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming amazing videos. Thank you for watching and as always see you next time.